Hey, it's Rich back with you for another video. And uh, today's video I'm gonna make is gonna be on a Cessna Caravan. And not only the, the Caravan, but also a specific airplane that we have for sale, which is right behind me. It's serial number 608. It's a 2017 short Caravan with uh, G1000 NXI. And I believe 2017 was the first year they came out with NXI. And so we're gonna kind of be focusing on this specific airplane because it's for sale and also just an overview of the Caravan. We'll go on a little flight look at some speed, performance, uh, fuel burns, and, and give you a good overview of the Cessna Caravan. I did a video, uh, I think it was the first video I did was on a, a Caravan, and we, we took another pilot with us and, and focused on uh, transitioning. And this, this video is gonna be more of a, uh, an overview of the airplane. So Cessna makes two variants of the Caravan, the short version, which is the straight 208, which is, is this airplane, and then the Grand Caravan, which is uh, now called the 208B Grand Caravan with an EX after it, which the EX is uh, the version where they extended the horsepower up to 867. This airplane has 675 uh, horsepower PT6. Um, everything else is the same except for the engine horsepower and uh, the, the length of the fuselage. And then the gross weight of the Grand is 8750 versus 8000 on the short airplane. We'll do another video on the Grand Caravan later. Um, this particular airplane has all of the, the, uh, the options as far as oversized tires. It has air conditioning. It has uh, an oxygen system. It has the TKS anti system and then the options that you would get in, in it from there are like synthetic vision, which this one has, uh, Tosby terrain, GTS 800 traffic, it has the uh, XM satellite weather and um, entertainment, radar, um, and so those are, those are the options that, that most people get, but not everybody has, has a full, a, a full array of, of the G1000 upgrades. And those are all the upgrade, the avionics are all pretty easy to, to add if you don't get it. It's the things like air conditioning and oxygen systems that become more difficult to, uh, to get after the airplane's manufactured. The one thing I didn't mention as well is the 300 amp starter generator, which most of them get as well. And uh, it's a really good option in my opinion. So uh, that's kind of an overview of the airplane. Again, this is a 2017. We're asking $1.8 million for this airplane. It's got about 450 hours total time on it. And the rest of the video, we're going to talk about uh, flying characteristics. So I'm going to take it up and we'll just, just do some uh, performance uh, shots and give you a good idea of how the airplane flies and what the performance is. Taxiing out to, to runway 26 left at Long Beach, and as I mentioned earlier, some of the options on the uh, 1000. So if we go to the map, uh, action on the uh, MFD. So you have the main map, the traffic, dedicated traffic map. So that's the GTS 800 component. You've got uh, radar. This has the Garmin uh, GWX. Uh, can't remember the numbers, GWX 800, maybe radar. And then um, we go to XM. And the last one is Tosby Terrain. So those are pretty much all the options uh, that this this package can get as far as the uh, avionics goes.
right, so we're climbing out uh, over the harbor here off of Long Beach Airport out of about 4,000 feet. I'm going to go up to 5,500, and uh, we'll show basically, I mean, it's a fairly low altitude in cruise, but we'll show some performance numbers and fuel burns at, at 500 feet, 5,500 feet. Um, but again, to reemphasize the caravan, you know, this airplane has uh, 3,200 pounds of useful load and 2,200 pounds of fuel. So the full fuel payload is 1,000 pounds. Gives you a lot of range, a lot of endurance. So most people, you know, operate the airplane with 1,000 pounds under, save 1,000 pounds of fuel and use it for people. So generally three hours of flying and you have 2,000 pounds of payload which makes it a very, you know, utilitarian type of airplane. All the seats can come out very quickly if you need to to take just cargo or if you need just a couple of seats, you can put a couple of seats in it or however many you need and interchange uh, seats for, for cargo space. A big cargo door that's made to fit a four-foot uh, pallet in so you could load in with it. The airplane has, you know, it was built originally for, you know, cargo. Uh, and then it also has a passenger door, so it, it can accommodate both. You don't have to climb up the cargo door to accommodate passengers. Uh, it's fully uh, known certified, air, uh, certified known ICE airplane, so you can fly in icing with the TKS system. It's an it's a anti-ice system, so the idea is you turn it on before uh, you get into icing conditions, and... Uh, and uh, keeps the ice off the airplane, the propeller, the windscreen, uh, the struts, the leading edges of the wing, uh, horizontal stab, vertical stab, it's all protected space. And makes it makes it a really uh, good uh, de-ice package for this airplane. Uh, so here we are leveling it at 5,500 feet and uh, see that the G1000 gives you a max continuous torque uh, blue bug there, so that's what I've got set. And we got flaps up and everything is set for cruise. And we're still accelerating, but already we're, you know, coming up on 160 knots of true airspeed on about 50 gallons uh, per hour of, of fuel. Nice, stable, smooth ride, and uh, now we're up. You know, I'm expecting we'll probably get up to 167 to 170 knots of true airspeed at this at this altitude. Caravan is one of the easiest airplanes, honestly, uh, that I've ever flown. It's very, uh, very forgiving. It flies slow really well. The turbine engine is more difficult uh, as a transition from a piston engine. Once you understand how to operate a turbine engine, it's very simple. Uh, I showed you the the max continuous torque. So setting power for cruise is as simple as bringing the torque lever back to match the blue uh, the blue bug. And you don't mess with mixture or you can pull the, the the propeller back. But most operators that operate this airplane run it at 1900, 1900 RPMs, which is full, full forward, and that's the max uh, limit on on RPM. That's where we leave it for the for the most part. So the stalls, the slow flight, all that kind of, kind of stuff, very very conventional. The the first notch of flap speed was really nice. It's 175 knots, which is red line. So you could put the you could put approach flaps or 10 uh, 15 10 degrees of flaps out at any speed as long as you're within the limitations of the airspeed. It's very easy to slow down. Uh, the same with the prop. When you pull the power to idle. And I'll show you a little bit of that when we go back and land. Uh, the, the prop gets into flat pitch, and it really slows the airplane down. So as I always tell people, it's very tough to be too high or too fast in a caravan because you get full flaps in and power to idle, and it slows down very, very fast to the point that you got to really you know, watch it get too slow very quickly. Again, Transitioning from really any airplane to a caravan for any pilot is, is really a simple transition. That's why I think they're so popular. Uh, you know, it's a single-engine turboprop. The Kodiak is another airplane that's in category. And I looked online uh, uh, before I left, and there's a, a 2017 Kodiak with a little less time than this one that's $100,000 more. 
at basically the same equipment. The only difference you're really going to get with a Kodiak is you're going to get a cargo pod on a short uh, on, on, on that airplane. Most short caravans don't have cargo pods. We feel like we got plenty of sp uh, space back to accommodate that you don't really need a cargo pod. And so they're priced similar. The Kodiak has uh, 750 horsepower. This is 675. So there are a few differences: four-blade prop versus a three-blade prop. And uh, you know there there are some differences, but, but they're more similar than they are different. And uh, the di one of the big differences is the caravan's been out since 1985, and it's got millions of high utilization uh, operating hours on it. So the cost of operation, reliability, those kinds of things. You gotta, you gotta give that to the caravan because of uh, it's just the number of years it's been in operation. It doesn't mean a Kodiak's a bad airplane. It just means it doesn't have the the time in the market with really high utilization operation. Bugby style, I got the 317 Echo X ray 5 South. Got Quebec like a redondo arrival for uh, IX helicopter. So coming back into Long Beach. 317 Traffic Echo nine o'clock. Low, less than one mile. one mile. One of the things that. Uh, I really like about caravans, total picture of this airplane, uh, the PT-6 motor, G-1000 avionics, a basic airframe, fixed gear, you know, non-pressurized. It's a lot like a, you know, a 182 that's got a lot more capability in the cabin, seating, uh, cargo capability. But the, the flying characteristics Traffic, are, are similar. Traffic, 11 o'clock, high, it, 2 miles. It's just like a uh, 182 in that regard. Once you learn, again, the turbine engine, but once you learn it, it's actually simpler. It's Like I said, it's the transition that's, it's, uh, that's more difficult is the right word. I'm, I'm not even sure it is. So I'm doing 150 knots right here now, and I'm... Right. I'm almost to the downwind, but I'm not worried because I can slow it down so fast. It's so easy to slow down. That's one of the great uh, the great things about the airplane is the wide range of, of operating. You know, it's not super fast, but it's it's a pretty good cross country airplane. And, uh, and it also has very very good short field performance. Heavy gross weight. I'm talking gross weight short field performance, not just when it's light. Uh, in fact, you know you really don't even notice when it's heavy. Tango Papa's signal hill for the left that one. Tango Papa two six left to land. Clear to land, two six left, two zero eight, Tango Papa. Low, less than one mile. A lot of traffic calls being made uh, by the traffic system out here, but that's normal for Long Beach Airport. Traffic, two o'clock. A lot of uh, good news is a lot of people out flying and a lot of activity. Here's downwind to beam. I'm at 125 now, and uh, everything's set for landing. I'm clear to land, so I'm going to make a bring the power back and get some flaps in and make a fairly short approach here. If you're in the airplane right now, you could really feel it slowing down because the prop is, is really uh, coming back. And I, I've lost about 30 knots in a span of about, span of about eight seconds. I'm gonna end up having to add power. Final's clear. I'm now 90 knots, full flaps. 500. And I'm pretty much right where I want to be. I, I don't, I'm not even using full, I don't even have the power at idle. As he says, I'm high. Three Sierra Lima, runway two six right, clear for the option. But I can easily. Two six right, clear for the option, three Sierra Lima. Down here and probably make that first turn off on two six left. And I'm, I'm still high on the Vazis. I'm losing speed at this steep deck angle. If I wanted to make that Fox 2, I could. That's not even using brakes here. I'm not even going to have to use brakes for the second one. And no beta. We have beta. If I wanted to make that first turn off with Pacific Air Center for A Tango Papa. A Tango Papa, turn left at a Foxtrot 4 in contact. Roger.
So short field, we'll takeoff and landing performance in this airplane, it just honestly doesn't get any better, I don't think, in any airplane. When you contrast it with the Kodiak, if you look at the book numbers, they have a little bit better takeoff performance. But how much do you really need? We're talking less than 2,000 feet, pretty much problem. Okay, back on the ground at Long Beach after the caravan flight. Nice little flight. I hope it showed you some basic uh, uh, flight characteristics, performance, and just a good overview of this airplane. Again, this is serial number uh, 604. It's a 2017 uh, short caravan. It's for sale. Uh, the price is 1.8 million, asking price. And uh, it's going to come with a fresh annual. We're just getting ready to put it in for, uh, for an annual inspection. And it's a really great airplane. One owner, I know the owner well. He's taking great care of it. It's like new, really inside and out. And uh, if you have any questions about this airplane, my contact information is in the description. And for that matter, any caravan. We, we've sold a lot of caravans. We have flight training. We have a really good maintenance uh, service center that specializes in caravans. So this is an airplane that we know a lot about. We just have a lot of history with it. So if you're interested in any caravan or this airplane, please don't hesitate to, to give me a call or uh, send me an email or text message. And uh, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it.